In this problem, we are being asked to find a bunch of different trigonometric ratios uh, in this right triangle. And we have an angle theta. We're not given the degrees here. We're given two sides of right triangle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve the other side and set up our ratios that way. The only funny part about this problem is you're probably familiar with the three main trig ratios that you learn first when you're studying trig. And that would be sine, cosine, and tangent. But there are actually six trig ratios. And um, we have uh, the cosecant, which is just 1 over the sine. When I say 1 over, what that means is you flip the fraction. So instead of the opposite over the hypotenuse, it's the hypotenuse over the opposite. The secant is 1 over the cosine. So that's instead of adjacent over hypotenuse, hypotenuse over adjacent. And the cotangent is 1 over the tangent. So that's adjacent over opposite instead of opposite over adjacent. So to solve a problem like this, we're going to find that third side using the Pythagorean theorem. And then for, let's see, we need to find cosecant, cotangent, and sine. We'll just set up the ratios, and those will be our answers. All right, so let's find this third side. This is the hypotenuse. So uh, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can fill in our numbers here. I've got 5 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared. Let's see, that's 25 plus 49. So that would be 74 equals c squared. And then we'll take the square root of both sides. So our number here is the square root of 74. Now, coming up with the answers to uh, our problems here is really just filling in numbers in a fraction. So let's look at the cosecant. It is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So the cosecant of theta is the square root of 74 over the opposite of theta would be 5. All right. Let's try the cotangent. So the cotangent of theta is the adjacent over the opposite. So the adjacent angle for theta, sorry, the adjacent side of the angle theta is 7. And the opposite is 5. And finally, we have the sine. So the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite is 5 and the hypotenuse is the square root of 74. Now, depending on your teacher, they may want you to rationalize that denominator. Maybe uh, turning in the answer 5 over the square root of 74 is fine. If it's not, what they're asking you to do is get the radical sign out of the denominator. You do that by multiplying by the square root of 74, whatever's on the bottom there, over itself. So this is a form of the, of the number 1. Anything over itself is 1. So when we multiply it by this fraction, we're not really changing the value. And when we multiply, we multiply across the top 5 times the square root of 74, which we write just like this, 5 times the square root of 74. And on the bottom, the square root of 74 times the square root of 74 is like the square root of 74 squared. So it's just 74, and that radical sign goes away. So in case 5 over the square root of 74 is not an acceptable answer for your teacher, this would be the other way to write that. So that is how to find trigonometric ratios, including these uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent uh, when you have a right triangle.